Fox. Carolina Shell remains joins us live from the Anderson Sports and Entertainment Center. And that's where the vice president is headed next. Shale, some big crowds coming out tonight. Oh, yeah, definitely, Tori. You know, people have come really all over across the upstate, really across the state for that matter, to get a look at the vice president. This Faith and Freedom Barbecue is all hosted by Congressman Jeff Duncan, and this is not his first rodeo. This is the ninth year that he has hosted this event. And as you can see, there are some stragglers in this line right here who are hopping into the Anderson Civic Center. You know, there people started lining up here for hours. We were here earlier this afternoon, and there was already a crowd gathering, but the door is officially open to the Civic Center starting around 4 o'clock. And this is, like I mentioned, the ninth year the barbecue has been put on. It's supposed to be a place for politicians, veterans, and first responders to really all come together to have that reunion-like atmosphere and to dive into barbecue. And while we were gathering around these doors right here, I spoke to a couple of veterans myself. One was a Vietnam veteran, and he drove all the way from Columbia to get a look at the vice president. Take a listen. And when I found out he was going to come here, I called my buddy Reggie, we just talked to him, said, hey, you want to go? Yeah. I wanted to come up here and see him because I support you know, President Trump and the Republican Party and the way that they are handling uh, or servicing us as veterans. You know, we finally got a, a president, a presidential team in the White House that supports, supports the veterans and those serving active duty and giving us the equipment that we deserve to fight off our, our enemies. And this is the largest annual conservative event in the Palmetto State. And, of course, we're going to be tracking it all as the vice president arrives here at the Anderson Civic Center. And we will be inside bringing you team coverage inside of there. So be sure to keep up with us both on air and online at foxcarolina.com. And, of course, I'll have a recap of his, of his visit to the upstate at 10 o'clock. For now, reporting live in Anderson County, I'm Shelver Mean, Fox Carolina, the 5 o'clock news. Show, thanks so much. And we are back at Sergeant Meadow Fabricators. That is where the vice president is inside right now talking to those employees and other leaders there in Anderson. People showed up to get in line to go inside and see the vice president. In fact, we caught up with one man who was actually sitting front row right now. I came out here to see the vice president, not support President Trump. I just want to see what he's going to talk about. I'm glad that the, the opportunity presented itself for the um, general public to be able to come and see him. And again, people have been lining up for hours to get in to listen to the vice president this afternoon. And once inside, the vice president toured the 80,000 square foot facility. Sargent is family owned and it's been in Anderson since 1975. The leadership you've supported from the White House to Capitol Hill over the last two and a half years. You know, when I think of the last two and a half years, there's only one way I can describe it. It's been two and a half years of action, two and a half years of results, two and a half years of promises made and promises kept. And we're just getting started, South Carolina. And that was just a few minutes ago when the vice president started his speech there inside Sergeant Plant. He's been greeted by supporters since he got in town just a couple of hours ago. And again, his speech is streaming inside our Fox Carolina News app right now. And that includes the Donaldson Center where Vice President Mike Pence arrived on Air Force Two just a little while ago. Yeah, Fox Carolina's Carrie Weimer joins us live from Greenville County right now. And you were there when he touched down. That's right. The plane came booming in just a little bit after three today. We've been asked to leave the gated area now for security reasons, but you can see over my shoulder where the plane is that brings the limos in. And not too far over to the side of that plane is Air Force Two. So Vice President Mike Pence and Senator Lindsey Graham both stepped off the plane this afternoon to a crowd of visitors waiting for him below. There was Henry McMaster with his wife, along with Representative Jeff Duncan. The vice president spent time with people waiting here, taking selfies, shaking hands, just having general conversation. And even once he left on the motorcade, people were able to go on to Air Force Two and take a tour. Back to you guys.